Hi, and welcome back to GSA Connects Cast. I'm your host, Kira Grenet, and with me today are two very exciting guests. We have the Bromery Awardee, Adita Carr, and his nominator, Susan Erickson, with me to talk a little bit about the award and what it means. So, um, Adita, I'd like to start with you as the award winner. Um, you were just awarded this at the Presidential Address and Awards Ceremony, so, um, when you got this award on stage, and the GSA president was right there, Chuck right, Bailey. Right. Okay, how was that experience? How did that make you feel? Well, first of all, thank you to the GSA and the awards committee and the council for uh, awarding me this very important award. And thanks to Susan, my long-term, now friend, my thesis committee member at my master's. She has been amazing. Uh, so. Uh, it, it was a great experience, to be honest, you know, uh, humbling, but, you know, proud. And uh, Chuck did a very good with his introduction pitch, you know, yes. uh, it was very funny. And um, it was a nervous experience, but it was good. In your acceptance speech, now, what was the main message that you wanted to impact the audience with? What did you want to impart? So I teach at a very small school rural university, which is a historically black college and university. Uh, from there to make an impact at the national stage, it, it requires partnerships. And to make partnerships with other academic organizations, with uh, other research institutions, and, and have an opportunity for the students, a pipeline. So that partnerships are very important. And to cultivate that, it takes a long time. And the students then, when they pass through, you know, they create the impressions, and so those partnerships become stronger. And so for the small universities, that is very important, and those Absolutely. partnerships. Absolutely. What impact do you think that this award will have on your own personal work and career? Well, big time. Because, uh, again, uh, small institutions have the challenge of teaching geoscience courses. They are smaller and they don't have as many students, so it's always under the pressure of being eliminated. So having an award like this will stabilize and let me, you know, give me the time to move, you know, think long term and plan and uh, be creative and not to fight every day to teach my geology classes at Fort Valley State University. And that's marvelous. You don't want to have to fight to be able to impart <laughs> education, right? right? And a lot of this is due to you, Susan. Yeah, absolutely. So for those listening in today who might be considering nominating somebody for, you know, a, a nice GSA award in the future, mm, what kind of, uh, I don't know, what would you tell them about what prompted you to do it? Like, what was the catalyst for this? Well, I think all of the awards yesterday were nominated by people who know their work and care for them and respect them. I mean, it is a lot of work to get a nomination together and you wouldn't do it for someone you didn't think is totally deserving. So, um, you know, what I get out of it is happiness and uh, pride's not quite the right word, but happiness for Aditya, who I've known for many years and I respect his work. And I know the community respects his work. Um, and so often nominated, I have heard so many people who are so, um, they deserve awards. They're so, uh, uh, now I'm dropping my, my words, which is no. fine. But you know, they deserve it. They've done wonderful things in their careers, but no one thinks to nominate them. Mm. So when you have the opportunity to do something for someone who has had a, an impact on geoscience, it's, it's a rewarding thing for the nominator. Absolutely. My advice would be start early because it's not so much work for the nominator, but you need good letters of support. Mm. And to identify them early, you know, people, one person I asked said, oh, I've got an NSF grant due in five days. Well, you know, he just can't. One person had COVID. Mm. So if you work backwards and make sure there's lots of time and get good people who are respected, who know their work, it's, it's an easy process. That's Don't marvelous. try to do it in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave it till the last minute. Don't leave it till the last yeah. minute. <laughs> and I have to ask, um, how has all of this affected you, uh, the awardee, and, and the whole global geosciences community? Like, uh, how has this made a difference? Well, I've nominated two people for big awards, and both of them have gotten them. And <laughs> when you tell them it's an emotional 
experience because people work hard their whole careers and you know in geoscience we're not in it for fame and fortune we, we have our reputation of research or outreach working with young people and to be recognized for that is, is a very I mean I became a fellow and I didn't think it was important but when I got it it's nice to know that your peers recognize your work so I would say that's for me you know I see it from both sides mm. Um, for the geoscience community, yesterday I was struck, I knew what your question would be, and I, I was struck by the fact that I didn't know what all these people accomplish. You know, the work that's done in geoscience for people and for humanity, for our planet, there's amazing things being done out there. And having these award ceremonies and the citations and the website and the social media really highlights what's going on in geoscience. Absolutely. And obviously it's made a huge difference here. And Hey, if you want to get an award, it, I think Susan's the person to nominate Absolutely. you. I don't know. I'm just getting that hey, feeling. Tell someone that you respect. <laughs> and the other thing is step forward and ask to be nominated. People do not do that. And there are many people out there who would love to be a fellow. You know, late in their careers, they've been mm. overlooked. And mm. um, if you think you need it, find a close, trusted colleague and say, would you consider nominating me? Drop that hint. Drop that hint. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You've shared some wonderful insights here today, I think, for the whole community. Um, thank you, Susan. Thank you, Ajita. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. We'll be back with more.